The PDEs we derive to model our string are awful, coupled and highly nonlinear. Making analytical progress is not possible. Fortunately, we can make some simplifying assumptions, which are physically sound and linearized. In doing so, we will end up with a much easier problem that we can in fact solve. So let us see how this is done. So again, we have our string here in its standard configuration. Then we were looking for a function r of t, which tells us how it is mapped to some arbitrary position in space. And previously we derived a PDE to do so, which has a second derivative of r with respect to t. That part is fine. It's given by 1 over rho 0, which is also fine, uh, times the ddx of t lambda, which is not so fine, times the unit tangent, which can be rewritten as t lambda over lambda times the dr dx. Well, the r dx is fine, but the t lambda over lambda is a big mess. So we want to make some simplifying assumptions. So what are we going to do? Well, let's say, okay, uh, first we are in our starting configuration, and then we assume that we first put it slightly to put some tension on it. So we get uh, the r of x and t equals lambda 0 times capital X. We pay, take some constant lambda 0, and then we make a small uh, u uh, in the uh, x direction, so, an other, so first lambda 0, and then a very small u, and a small y, uh, can, uh, small v in the y direction. So our r of x and t looks as a lambda 0, which is where lambda 0 is constant times x, plus u in the i direction plus v in the j direction. So that's the idea. u and v are small. Uh, now we can uh, uh, use this to rewrite our PDE. First of all, we compute uh, t, uh, the, 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 the general tangent equals dr dx. So uh, we differentiate with respect to capital X, so we get a lambda 0 plus ux in the i direction plus vx in the j direction. And we can use this to compute our lambda and to linearize this, because our lambda is a source of a lot of trouble. So what's lambda? Uh, it's the norm of t, so the, uh, the x component squared plus the y component squared and the, the square root. Then when you work out the first square, you get lambda 0 squared plus 2 times lambda 0 times ux plus a ux squared, and uh, we neglect all quadratic terms, so you neglect the ux squared, and we neglect the vx squared, so we get this approximation over here. And then we can take out the lambda 0 squared, so we get the lambda 0 over here, a 1 here, and a 2ux over lambda 0 over there. And then we use it to a square root of 1 plus something small, we tailor it basically, the square root of 1 plus something small equals 1 plus 1 half the small thing. So we get 1 plus 1 half the small thing. And then work out in the brackets, we get the lambda 0 plus ux. So the lambda up to linear order is now given by lambda 0 plus ux. So a much easier expression than the general one. Now we can compute the unit tangent. We have the uh, tangent over there. Uh, we normalize, we divide by the approximation for lambda by lambda 0 plus ux. So in the i direction you just get a 1, and in the uh, j direction you get v0 divided by lambda 0 plus ux. We take out the uh, vx over lambda 0, so we get 1 over 1 plus something small. Uh, we can use, for example, a geometric series, 1 over 1 plus something small equals 1 minus is something small. But we already have something small over here, so the something small uh, which would remain there will become quadratic, so we basically can replace this by a 1. So our unit tangent equals i plus vx over lambda 0 times j. So that's the linearization of our unit tangent. Moving on to linearization our tangent in the string. t of lambda, Taylor with respect to lambda, is up to first order the t at lambda 0 plus t prime at lambda 0 times lambda minus lambda 0. But lambda is approximately lambda 0 plus ux. So lambda minus lambda 0 is approximately ux. So here we have our ap approximation for t of lambda. Now what we need is an approximation for 
t of lambda times t hat. We have an approximation for t of lambda, we have an approximation for t hat, so we can approximate the product. t of lambda times t hat, here we have our t of lambda, there we have our t hat, and then up to linear order you get i times the full term plus j times only the t of lambda zero because the other part is of quadratic order again. Then, uh, 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 almost done, we take the ddx of t of lambda times uh, uh, t hat because that's uh, equal to the uh, second derivative of r with respect to t squared. While the left hand side is easy, if you differentiate with respect to time, this part drops out and you only differentiate this one and that one. So that's for the left hand side. Uh, and for the right hand side, we have to differentiate this expression over here is with respect to the capital X. So the first term drops out because it's a constant. So we are, are left with uh, um, uh, uh, for, for in, in the i direction only the t prime of lambda zero times u x x. So that's over here, the uh, component in the x direction. And for the component in the y direction, we are only left with the t lambda zero over lambda zero times v x x. That's over here. And then we are almost done. You already see a wave equation arising. We only like to replace the capital X by small x's. Like the capital X is for the components on the string if it's just lying there, and small x is for the components if you are going or moving around. I rather have your problem in terms of the small x's. Fortunately, that's possible because of the linear order, small x equals lambda zero times the capital X. Uh, so uh, we can replace the uh, uh, u x x, the, the capital x's by small x's, but then we just get a one over lambda. Uh, so we get an additional factor lambda zero squared. So that's what we see over here. So we get the equation of the form u t t equals c squared times u x x, where the c squared is this expression over there. And for the v, the same, we get v t t equals some c squared times v x x, uh, with the uh, expression for c over there. So we get uh, a wave equation for the um, movement in the long longitudinal di direction, the uh, string direction, and for the perturbations which are uh, in the transversal direction, direction. Both are given by a wave equation for our string.